At the beginning of the experiment, the participant is placed into the MRI machine and handed two button response devices, which are used to perform tasks and respond to questions while in the machine. The experimenter then places the head coil around the participant's head. The head coil is used to collect images of the participant's brain anatomy and videos of his or her brain function. A mirror is attached to the head coil, which allows the participant to view text and tasks projected onto a screen at the back of the MRI machine. Here, the experimenter is pointing out an area of the brain in the lateral inferior frontal cortex, or LIFC, on an MRI image of the participant's brain anatomy. This brain area is the target for real-time fMRI neurofeedback. This is the stop signal task, which is a measure of response inhibition. Participants are instructed to respond to a directional arrow by pressing right when the arrow is pointing right and left when the arrow is pointing left. On some trials, a red dot appears above the arrow after a short delay. On these trials, participants are instructed to stop their response. One important area of the brain involved in this stop process is the LIFC. After the participant completes the task, the experimenter analyzes the data to isolate the area of brain activation in the LIFC involved in stopping, which can vary slightly from participant to participant. Here we can see that there are two areas of activation in the right LIFC for this participant. For this image, left equals right and right equals left. Now the participant is ready to play the control your brain game, where he will attempt to control the activity level in his own right LIFC to see if this leads to improved control over his smoking behavior. Participants do this by using emotion regulation strategies, such as imagining the long-term health consequences of smoking while viewing an image of someone smoking. On the left is the participant's brain map, which is monitored by the experimenter, but is not displayed to the participant. On the right is what the participant sees. Participants then see a display of how their LIFC responded when they used a given thinking strategy. If their level of brain activity exceeds a goal set by the experimenter, the brain activity bar turns green, indicating that the strategy was a success. Otherwise, the bar turns red, and the participant is encouraged to try another strategy. Participants receive several of these training trials throughout an RT-FMRI neurofeedback session. Their goal is to learn which strategies are effective at changing their brain activity. Here, on the left, is what the participant sees, and on the right is what the experimenter can see. You can see the area in green in the right LIFC in the upper left corner of the experimenter's computer display. This is the brain area targeted for real-time fMRI neurofeedback for this participant. On the left of the experimenter's computer display is a scrolling graph of the level of activity within this participant's LIFC, which can be monitored throughout the experiment by the experimenter.